Hey, what's up, Good Life? Thanks for joining me for today's 128 moment. In case you missed it last Sunday, I want to share some exciting news with you. As you know, we've been meeting right here at the State Road 70 location since March of last year. We acquired this space in August of the year before, and our original intention of it was for it to be our offices and our during the week meeting space. But when COVID led to the loss of terror and we couldn't meet there on Sunday mornings anymore, we began meeting here every single Sunday from June 7, 2020 on this little space has been our lifeboat in the storm. It's really so amazing to look back and realize that long before we ever knew what would happen in the world, the Lord had led us to secure the very place that we would need for such a time as this. Now, this space wasn't perfect, but it worked, and we were able to work around the limitations that it had. And in January of this year, uh, we were able to address one of those needs when we added the unit next door so Good Life Kids could begin fully operating again. And all year since that time, we've been pursuing the renovation and the reworking of our facilities to meet our current and future needs so our church could have the space that it needs to not only work now, but work in the future. But that process of pursuing that has been longer and slower than we ever could have imagined. Florida's booming economy, and especially the construction industry, made securing architects and engineers and, and quotes from contractors and subcontractors, it was quite a journey. A journey full of unexpected dead ends and some moments where we had some startling sticker shock at, at some of the quotes. But here at the end of 2021, the Lord has moved and the Lord has allowed us to be able to share some exciting news with you. Last month, we received and reviewed project estimates from a builder who has extensive experience with churches and with schools. And this, this builder also has a heart for the church, and they were eager to be a part of this project. And their estimate accomplished all the goals that we had for the project, and it also fit our projected budget goal. So after reviewing the proposal, it was unanimously approved by our elders and the finance team. And this month, we signed that contract with the general contractor and our paperwork for our permit is ready to be submitted to the building department this very week. Now, I know it's been a long time since we initially announced this project, so let me remind you of a couple of the exciting changes that are ahead. This project will double our worship seating capacity, making room for our current church and our future church family. It'll also create four new rooms that'll be used for Good Life Kids on Sunday mornings and it'll be used as offices and meeting rooms during the week, doing our best to make the most of the space the Lord has given us. This project will also connect our existing lobby that I'm standing in now to the front of the Good Life Kids space by tearing down this wall behind me to create a new lobby, a new connection space where we'll be able to share life on Sunday mornings. We'll also be able to create additional restrooms behind the stage with, new, with a new women's restroom on one side and an additional accessible restroom on the other. And if you add in things like new air conditioners and an extended stage for our worship team, you can see why we're excited to see this project completed. Now, how long is this going to take? Now, by our best estimates, the timeline for completion will be about two to three months. It could take a little longer as these are still somewhat crazy times, but that's our best estimate for now. We'll update you as we get more specific information regarding when we're going to start getting dusty. But know this, as we go forward, our goal and our plan is to be able to continue to meet here every single Sunday as the project progresses. So in light of this exciting news, we invite you to be a part of it. We invite you to be a part of it by praying for the process, for the Lord to protect those who will work here, and for the Lord to bless and direct those officials who will review our project and move it through with the approval process, and really above all, for our church to project the love of Jesus by the way we navigate this process. We also invite you to consider end of the year giving to the building fund. The building fund option has been added to our, our online giving portal. So you can also, if you're not going to use that, you can make note on a memo line of the check you give in your normal offerings. We'll also circle back in January to share more about the project and all the ways that you can be involved. So we're excited. We hope you are too. Let me share a couple of reminders before I go. Don't forget to return your Christmas gifts for our ministry partners this Sunday. Return them unwrapped with the ornaments attached to it. Also, 
Be praying about who you can invite to join us for our outdoor Christmas Eve service and make sure you join us this Sunday at 9, 30, and 11 as we gather for worship. We'll be having a Christmas photo booth available for you and for your family. We will also continue our Reclamation Project series with a distinct Christmas focus. Hopefully we'll be able to see you this Sunday. We look forward to that. And until then, let's be a people who will love enough.